Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm going to talk about Tamiya's motorized landing legs for their trailers. This kit will fit any of their trailers, the flatbed, the box trailer, the tank trailer. Uh, it's pretty easy to install and works great. I'll go through the installation and, uh, and the operation. Um, i got to tell you, I slipped on some ice and broke my thumb halfway through this video. So, it's going to be a little choppy. It's probably not the best video I've ever done, but I did want to get it out there. I'll probably do a better one later, but uh, I'm slowly recovering. You don't realize how much you use your left thumb until you don't have it. Anyway, let's get started. Well, the first step on the uh, motorized landing legs is to modify the coupler. I've got a donor truck here that I'm working on, and I took the coupler off. So, the first thing I need to do is remove the ball link from here and install it on this. And then this fits over here like that with these pieces. This piece goes on the top, and the ball link's here. So that makes this piece be able to slide, and it has a bumper that pushes on the landing leg switch on the trailer. So I'm going to pull this out, put it on here, and show you how it goes together. So, um, put this together. The bolt comes up from the back side here. See my little ball link? This drops over here. Now this washer, I'm actually first. Big thick washer. It's kind of a spacer washer. This drops over. This drops over the top. And then this roof nut fits down in. And I already added some Loctite to it. It kind of slides through everything. And I'm, once this is done you can see how this operates. And then there's another washer that covers it up. And a screw goes through there. It screws down. I'm going to screw that down in a second. And then that whole assembly will slide. I'll show you when it's done. I've got that assembly installed. Notice that I've got a MFC plug, so I'm going to be operating this uh, with an MFC. You can do it with or without, and I'll show how that works later. You can see now this slider goes in. This part here actually will bump on the trailer to retract and extend the legs, and then this pulls on it to open the coupler. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the coupler um, and put it on the truck, and then we will work on the trailer. Well, I said in the last bit I'd be back uh, to show the trailer installation, but I've decided to go ahead and do the truck installation first. So I've got a, um, a grand hauler frame here that I'm working on. You can see it's got the MFC wiring already slid into it. I mounted the coupler on. So the next part is to mount the servo. And these servo mounting arms just bolt onto the servo like this and then the servo bolts to the bottom of this plate which then drops into the frame and it's a little bit tricky depending on how big the servo is this is a fairly good sized servo you don't need anything special to operate it um, so I'm going to just install it as per the instructions I've already selected the servo arm that fits and notice the ball is on the inside of the arm so I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. I'll come back and install it in the truck. So you can see I've assembled this. And I left the screws that hold this deck on loose because to fit this in, pull the wire through here, I need to actually drop it so the servo fits in between the frame a little bit. Kind of wiggle it into place. And then this just mounts with two 3x8s. I've got my, actually we'll use the back set of holes. I've got my grand hauler uh, rod here. So I'll go ahead and get this uh, mounted down. And then I will take the servo wire at an extension. And I'll just uh, 
run that up to the MFC. We've got some spiral wrap here to cover everything. We'll get this put down. And here's the mechanism installed. A little servo tester on there. You can see it open the coupler and then push this this out to activate the legs. I'll do the final adjustments later. So now I'm just going to spiral wrap all these wires, do some extensions, and get those up to the front. One thing I might mention while I'm at it, I use a lot of this spiral wrap for the wiring. The nice part about it is you can get a wire to join anytime you want. So when you wrap this around, now I'll just pull in this wire. Wrap it a couple times. Make sure I've got it kind of where I want it. And it just joins my, my loom along with everything else. Really an easy way to, uh, to neaten up the wiring because these trucks get a lot of wiring usually. Okay, so you can see how that's going to look. I'll pull that up to the front. Assembling this little gearbox is pretty straightforward. Um, the, uh, oh, yeah, fell in the ice, sprained my thumb really badly, slowing me down. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see the gears just drop in and uh, there's a little pin that goes inside here. Here's this little pin. And then the gear just drops over that. And then these, uh, these go together get that put it put together I just put two of the bolts in here to hold it together I like to test everything so we we'll use my battery you can probably see the shaft rotating here so we'll finish assembling that the kit comes with this little battery box you assemble the basic wiring circuit is there's three volts and three volts and the positive and negatives are reversed so when the switch goes one way three volts operates the motor one way and then three volts operates the motor the other way uh, there's a little wiring diagram here to hook up the wires are pretty straightforward the only thing is to me it tells you to twist the wires together and then slip some rubber tubing over them that they give you uh, not acceptable you really need to solder them so I'm going to solder up these connections and I'll use a little bit of shrink wrap over them uh, and copy this wiring diagram. Um, you, just, you just need to be able to solder things. So pretty straightforward. We'll just do this one here. Um, these two wires then roll around to the other side. I'm not going to show every single wire, but the wiring diagram is quite easy to follow and when it's done you can you can wire everything up and then install it in the trailer when it's completely finished so So I'll go ahead and wire all this together. This is the um, completed assembly. You see I threw some batteries in here. So this manual switch will operate them either direction. That'll be up or down. And then this is the box that mounts behind the coupler. And it has a couple of micro switches in it that go up or down and the trailer will, or the semi will activate that. So now it's time to go ahead and mount these components in the trailer. So if the trailer is already built, you need to um, disassemble right here. 
and pull this piece out. And then this little box replaces it. It just slides in here the same way. And the bolts hold it in. So we'll bolt that together. After installing this, the motor just bolts down here with a couple of these flange screws. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt that down and then we'll move along to the assemblies that operate this. I did a little bit of assembly on these and um, the only thing important to note is the spring fits underneath this arm. I, I'm, I found out I did break my thumb and so I got this splint on here and I might have to have surgery, I don't know, but it, I can't show some of the things I would normally show because I can't hold the parts properly. But there's a little spring inside of here that keeps this just kind of floating. Uh, this operating lever with a spring works here. So now this fits over there and then this fits over there and this cover then locks it into place. Let's see, the little cover goes, I think, kind of like that. So I'm going to screw those down. Again, I, I, I normally would show that, but I just can't hold the parts right. So the completed assembly has this pusher on it. And the, this drops over here. Mm. This fits over the the pin is sticking up and then this assembly bolts down through the bolts on the trailer and when the hitch, the, the trailer hitch on the truck has the arm that comes out to either raise or lower the the landing leg. So that's how that assembly works. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this down on the trailer and then we'll move on. The leg assemblies, you can see how that shaft rotates so the, the gear rack, there's a spring that fits on that side, a little bit of grease on the back, and it just drops in here. We have to put another spring on the other end here. It makes it really hard for me to work. Okay. Once this is in, this part just drops down in in a a little screw holds that on. Keeps that rack protected at the bottom end. Then you can see where this now is important because it drops in past our gear here. And then this cover drops over the top with four screws that hold it. There's our assembly. The final part of getting these legs ready, there's just a little rubber pad that sticks on the bottom. And then this joint cup has a set screw in it, which I've already put some Loctite on. and it just tightens on the shaft. Now you can see why those springs are in there. This thing goes up and down, but when it hits the end, the spring allows it to to rotate and not hurt the gear. So if something else happens, one of the micro switches breaks, it won't wreck the motor. So the, the legs 
are going to mount like this and this joint cup is going to fit over the shaft. There's a little roll pin with teeth on it that pushes through the hole in the shaft. So I'm going to put those in and then slide these over and bolt them on both sides. Okay, so I mounted the legs. The switch bracket mounts behind the leg mount and the battery box just tapes in here. I'll tie up the wiring a little later. But you can see now that our legs operate up and down just fine with a switch or with the trailer switch. So that completes the installation here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish building this trailer. We'll hook it to a truck and I'll show how it works with the MFC. So I've got a grand hauler here that's all um, that's hooked up and running. This has an MFC in it and you can see the, uh, the coupler is adjusted and you need to adjust this tang in the back so it really doesn't stick out any further than the normal distance. Um, on an MFC you click this and then this stick now works the, the coupler and you can see that opens the coupler up all the way and then this will bring out this little tang and operate the trailer legs. So once it's adjusted that's how it works and so you can uncouple, drive away and you can couple on. You don't need to do anything, you can just the trailer will, will just ride right past that and then you can use this to retract and extend the legs. And I'm going to hook up the trailer and show you how that works. Now on the trailer, our legs are all done. You've got a down and an up manual switch here. And so there's the legs up. And that operates anytime. So now I'm going to pull the truck in and hook this together. So now with the uh, with the trailer latched onto the truck, hopefully you can see these legs under here. If I move that stick a little bit, the legs go down. If I move it all the way, they go up. So you can adjust the up and the down with the radio. So I'll put them down. Then I can pull this open and drive the truck away. Perfect. And I should be able to back the truck in. And it latched on. And now I can retract the legs and drive away with the trailer. Excellent. Well, there's the um, retractable legs. So I know this was not a fantastic video. This broken thumb really screwed me up right in the middle of it is when I broke it. But uh, I kind of wanted to get it out there so you can see how these um, uh, retractable um, legs work. And uh, they actually work quite well. Um, it's simple and ineffective. So uh, there you go. Motorized leg set from Tamiya. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, check out the, um, the video description for links. Uh, thanks. Bye.